Inheritance is a term that is thrown around quite a bit among programming languages. When many people talk about inheritance, they're speaking of inheritance as it works in class-based languages such as Java or C++. In this video, I plan to clarify inheritance as it relates to JavaScript. Inheritance in, in a class-based sense is when a class is based on another class. It inherits or receives the properties and methods of that class. Now, JavaScript supports inheritance as well, but JavaScript does not have classes. Inheritance in JavaScript is better described as one object borrowing properties or methods from another object. Let's take a look at a diagram that can help explain this. So on the left in this diagram is classical inheritance, and on the right is what we call prototypal inheritance. This is what JavaScript supports. I'll explain in a minute why it is called prototypal inheritance if you are not aware of the reason for that. First, let's look at the diagram in detail. So for class inheritance, a class can inherit from a parent class. So this class at the top would be considered the parent of this class here. The purpose of classes are to instantiate objects. So down here we have some objects that have been instantiated or created from this class. Each one of these objects will have all the properties and methods of the class hierarchy. So this is our class hierarchy. However, they can overwrite some of those with their own properties and methods. So they can be unique in that sense. But they do receive all the properties and methods from the classes that they are instantiated from. Now in JavaScript, it is different. Inheritance is handled this way. An object is simply borrowing from an object it is connected to. So here we have an object. It's borrowing from this object. That object is borrowing from that object. So for example, if this object right here, let's say we used it to call the toString method. Well, the first thing that would happen in JavaScript is it would look on the object and see if the toString method existed on that object. If it did not, it would then look at the object it is connected to. So it would go to this one and see if the toString method is available on that object. If it is not, it would then go to the object that this object is connected to and see if the toString method is available on that. If at any point it finds it, it returns it and stops looking. If it makes it all the way to the top without finding it, well, that's when we get an undefined result. Now, once it finds it, it simply borrows it and uses it. For, for example, if the toString method existed on this object, it would go ahead and execute this toString method just as if it existed on itself. Now, that's a unique difference between the inheritance used in JavaScript and the class inheritance. These objects that are instantiated down here, they do have all of the properties and methods from the class or classes. Objects in JavaScript don't need that. They don't need to have it. They can borrow from another object. Now, in these two diagrams, notice the difference of the arrows. In the class-based inheritance, the arrow is pointing down. Things are inherited from above. Where, as with prototypal inheritance, the arrows are pointing to objects. So it's easier to talk about prototypal inheritance as borrowing. Now, the object a JavaScript object is connected to is called a prototype. And it can only be connected to one. So since it is called a prototype, that is why we call it prototypal inheritance. Now, we have talked about prototypes 
and how to set them in other tutorials. And I'll provide links to those tutorials in the description section of this video. Now, this series of objects that JavaScript traverses looking for a property or method is called the prototype chain. So the arrows here represent the prototype chain. Those are the objects it looks through when trying to borrow a property or method. Now really quick, let's do a simple exercise to illustrate this. So I'm going to quickly create a simple object. It has one property, first name. If I now display that object and open it up, I can see that property. It is attached to it. Now notice what happens if I do obj .to string. I invoke that method. It doesn't tell me that the method's undefined and it can't find it. It does something. It prints out object, object. So how did it get that two string method? Well, not on the object itself. It goes up the prototype chain. So it looks at the object it's connected to. Right here, we see the object it's connected to. If we open up that object, we can find a two string method right here. And so that's where it finds it borrows it, and then invokes it. So that is how prototypal inheritance works in JavaScript. And hopefully that helps you understand the difference between the two types of inheritance. And specifically, I hope it helps you understand what it means in JavaScript. Because if you're learning JavaScript, that's what's important to grasp, is how it works in JavaScript. Now, if you need more information on prototypes or on objects in general, you can find links to those tutorials in the description section. We have an entire playlist on objects and then several tutorials on prototypes. You can also find a complete list of tutorials for all things JavaScript. Just follow the URLs on the screen to the All Things JavaScript website. Now, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video. To view other videos from our YouTube channel, click on the link in the center of the screen. To subscribe to our channel, click the circle link on the left. We release new videos every week. And to visit our website for courses on JavaScript and other resources and complete list of tutorials, click the link on the right. Thanks for watching.